once more unto the breach is the 157th episode of the television series Star Trek – Deep Space Nine, the seventh episode of the seventh season. The title is taken from one of the more famous speeches in Shakespeare's play Henry V. This episode is focused on the fictional alien species in the Star Trek franchise known as the Klingons, and features John Colicos as Kor, J. G. Hertzler as General Martok, Neil C. Vipond as Darok, Nancy Youngblood as Kalana, and Blake Lindsley as Sinan. This episode received a Nielsen rating of 4.5 when it was broadcast on television in 1998. The main plot revolves around Worf played cast regular Michael Dorn going on a combat mission with General Martok into Cardassian space with a fleet of Klingon Bird of Prey spacecraft as part of the ongoing war with Dominion. Back on Deep Space Nine station, Esri deals with life there. Topic. Plot An aging and increasingly senile Dahar Master Kor has lost influence in the Klingon Empire. He comes to DS9 to ask Worf for help in securing a starship command, and a chance to die in battle. Worf brings the request to General Martok, who is planning a raid deep into Cardassian space with five birds of prey. Martok angrily rejects the request. Kor once rejected a young Martok's application to become an officer based on Martok's lower class lineage, the general still holds the grudge. As a compromise, and not aware of Kor's poor mental health, Worf appoints Kor as the third officer of the Shatang, Martok's ship. Once aboard, Kor recounts old war stories to a crew enthused with having a living legend among them. However, this changes after the first battle when Martok and Worf are temporarily incapacitated and Kor is forced to take command. Kor's senility causes him to relive an old battle and give inappropriate commands. Disaster is averted when Martok and Worf recover and resume command. Kor's pride is severely hurt as Martok and much of the crew mock him. Worf is forced to remove the Dahar master from duty, but blames himself for placing Kor in an untenable situation. Martok also realizes mocking Kor has brought him no pleasure. The pair agree to appeal to Chancellor Gauron to find a worthy and suitable place for Kor. As the cloaked Klingons return to friendly space, they discover ten Jem'Hadar ships are in pursuit and will intercept them before they reach safety. Worf prepares to embark on a suicide mission in one bird of prey to delay the pursuers, and allow the remaining ships to escape. Kor learns of Worf's plan from Darok, an old Klingon who is Kor's age and is sympathetic to his plight. Kor's pride is rekindled when he realizes only his lifetime of experience can make the plan work. It is also the warrior's death he has longed for. As such, the Dahar Master surprises Worf with a hyperspray, sedates him and takes his place. However, before Kor transports out, he tells Worf that when he reaches the halls of the honored dead, he will find Jadzia Dax and tell her that Worf still loves only her and that he brings her honor every day. Martok and his crew observe the battle from the Shatang's bridge. Martok belatedly discovers Kor's actions when Worf joins him. Against the odds, Kor succeeds in delaying the Jem'Hadar. An incredulous Martok is the first to toast Kor's noble end, and the crew sing to Kor's victory. <laughs> Naming The title, Once More Unto the Breach is derived from the play Henry V by Shakespeare, where the line is in Act Three, Scene One. There are several other episodes named after Shakespeare lines, and there are quotes from Hamlet in the 1990 film Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country. Another Deep Space Nine episode with a title from Shakespeare is, "'Dogs of War'", which comes from Julius Caesar.
Topic: Franchise connections. John Colicos, who plays the character Core, has reprised his role as a Klingon alien multiple times in the Star Trek franchise. He was first cast as Klingon in the first Star Trek show to include them, Errand of Mercy. In the hit 1960s television show, and as the same character, Kor. Also, Blood Oath featured the return of Colicos, Campbell, and Ansara in the Klingon roles that they had previously portrayed in Star Trek, the original series. Colicos also played Kor on Deep Space Nine, in the episodes, The Sword of Carlos. Reception Hollywood.com noted this episode as among the best of Klingon Star Trek content, highlighting it as a satisfying end to core, the foe-turned-friend. They also note the special effect battle scenes with the fictional Star Trek spacecraft, the Klingon Bird of Prey. The Klingon Bird of Prey is one of the famous fictional spacecraft of the Star Trek franchise, having appeared throughout the 1980s and 1990s to what Space.com calls delightful effect. The ship's ability to cloak makes it an especially elusive adversary, and it was rated the eighth greatest spacecraft design of all Star Trek by Space.com in 2017. Hollywood Reporter ranked, "...once more unto the breach," as the 13th best of Star Trek, Deep Space Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Box office 